in seven and eight. Ellie Flickinger twice won the 200 butterfly. She won in Indianapolis and in College Park. Dahlia, the 100 butterfly winner. Remember the Cali Condors, they trail by 23 and a half points. You get the ace in their pocket, if you will, in Caleb Dressel swimming the skins. That could potentially be 27 points at the end because the skins triple points. Yeah, if he recovers, they've got a huge finish. But there's a few races to go. Energy standard. A couple of red hats there, out together. Kelsey Dahlia going with them. It's all the action in five, six, seven, and eight at the moment. But on the 200 fly, it's eight lengths. And if you get it wrong, you get it really wrong, you start sinking and going backwards. And what really needs to happen here late in this meet is not only does Cali Condors and Energy Standard want to be towards the top, but in a perfect world, London World would finish towards the bottom seventh and eighth because you want the biggest game that you possibly can in one event. Yeah, you've got to get the most point advantage. If you can get a one, two, you get nine points and seven points, that's 16. And if your rivals get seventh and eighth, that's three, that's a 13 point swing just in one race. But there's an awful lot of points at stake on the skins, so you can close big point gaps. But Dahlia, she's looking smooth. Underwater, staying under a long time, which means that she's obviously feeling good. Her and her teammate out first and second. Dahlia, flicking her first and second. But over in, over in one and two is Estina, looking good. And look at Belmonte making her move in lane number four. Did she time this perfectly? Flicking her in the lead, followed by Dahlia. As they come home, trying to get a one-two finish. Belmonte, though, trying to charge. Here comes Holly Hibbett. She's charging as well towards the end. Belmonte with a great finish, but it's going to be flicking or getting the win. But how important was that for Belmonte to creep back into it and get second for the London Roar? Oh, it's so important. Energy standard went out really well there. Looked really smooth, but ended up sixth and eighth. 